secretárias e secretários do Brasil e do mundo. Hoje estamos com a Helen Monument, uma grande parceira da Lucy Brazier, do nosso clube aqui no Brasil e a grande líder do World Administrators Alliance. Helen, so happy to have you on board again. We want everybody here in Brazil, the students, the executive assistants, HRs, everybody to get to know this giant movement of the World Administrators Alliance connecting everybody around the globe to really match and develop the profession and everything. So first, my thank you to you. And if you could share who is Helen Monument, a little bit of history of you, Helen. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Petita, Pepita, first of all, for, for the invitation and hello to everybody in Brazil. Wonderful to, uh, to be here. Uh, a little bit about me for, for people who don't know. I'm, uh, I was born in, in the UK, but I moved to the Netherlands where I now live in 1980. So I guess I think of myself as being European. Now, I, I trained in the hospitality industry and I got my first job as a secretary when I moved to the Netherlands. Uh, so I kind of fell into it. It wasn't a conscious career choice at that time. But I must say that my background in the, in the, in the hotel business was really useful as a, a secretary, as I was called then. So when you work in business support, as you, as you all do, uh, just like a good host, you make things happen for other people. You anticipate their needs before they know what they want themselves. You're an organizer, you're a problem solver, you're a troubleshooter, a collaborator. So I knew what it meant to do all of those things, to meet deadlines and to work under pressure and understand cultural differences and communicate. So that was, uh, that was how I started out. And I've been in the profession now for over 30 years. Uh, growing as I went from being receptionist, secretary, team assistant, PA, executive assistant, office manager, and finally um, a business support leader uh, for international companies, companies here in the Netherlands. And I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I'm actually working for myself. I, uh, I love my job but I got a bit fed up of being an employee. I wanted to do something for myself. So um, I got my coaching diploma and started my own business, Monumental Assistance, where I, I'm now coaching, training, writing, and speaking at conferences and, and talking to all, all you lovely people in the industry. So that's what I'm doing now. Wow, wow. Uh... As we say here in Brazil, you have a lot of hats, huh? a lot of hats yes. and a, a, a very inspiring journey huh? uh, on all this universe of executive assistance, development, evolution and everything. Absolutely. And uh, we have the World Administrators Alliance that yes. you are a, 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 the, a, the number one leader of this a, incredible a global alliance uh, who puts so many people on around the world together, joining their ideas, their needs and everything. So I wanted you to share with us uh, a little bit of history of the World Alliance, uh, its purpose, its mission, its values, the main projects, please. Yes, of course. Well, we need to go back a bit first to talk about the World Administrators Summit, because that's where it all started. So the Global Administrators Summit, for those who've not heard of it, is a global meeting. It's not a conference, it's a working meeting of administrative and office professionals and their associations. Uh, the summit was first convened in back in 1992 and has been held in countries all over the world ever since. So it provides an international platform for peer to peer discussions regarding all the relevant topics that impact those working in the profession. So the, in 2015, the summit was held in Papua New Guinea and the delegates decided that it was time for more governance. Uh, more continuity 
and more leadership that's sustainable for the for the summit and it, and its activities for the future. So a task force got together to find the right model to do this. And that's how the, the World Administrators Alliance was born. And uh, we were registered in the, in the United States as a nonprofit trade association. So we represent um, associations and networks, industry stakeholders and individuals around the world who are in this profession. So our aims are to guide, develop, influence, and elevate the administrative profession. We want to build a global community so that, that um, administrative professionals the whole world over can speak with one voice. We're kind of like the G7, if you like. Now, it took us a year to set up the organization and we opened for membership last year. And we now have 39 members in 22 countries, including yourself, Pepita. Um, and the World Administrators Alliance is now responsible for the World Administrators Summit. So how does, the, how does that work? The, the topics that are being discussed at the summit are collected through a survey. Um, there are outcomes and, and reports that are published and, and papers which we uh, share freely on our website. Um, some of the topics that have been discussed at the summit and reported on are things like workplace bullying, diversity and inclusion, uh, the image and awareness of the profession, and of course the global skills matrix, which I know we're going to talk about uh, a little later on, Pepita. And we produced a really, really useful document called Administra, which is kind of like our world action plan, and it contains guidelines for individuals and associations uh, to help them with their development. So it's full of great suggestions and ideas on how to enhance the perceived value of the administrative profession, how to increase awareness of the value of uh, admin skills in business, uh, to how to recognize and promote the image of our profession and to encourage businesses and the global community to view our profession as a career. We also explain and show how you can encourage the younger generation um, and how to handle sensitive issues like bullying and harassment and how to keep your technical knowledge up to date. So this, the 12th summit uh, is going to be online again uh, because of COVID unfortunately on the 15th and the 22nd of October this year. So we're going to welcome a delegation from Brazil, Peter. We can't wait to see you then. And we have four discussion topics for the summit this year. So the first one is the career behind the job. So we want to discuss how we can mobilize our profession to elevate itself once and for all. The second topic is called fit for the future. Now this is something that's really close to everybody's heart, particularly after all the COVID uh, um, challenges that we've had. So how can we ensure the mental and physical well-being of administrative professionals in the future world of hybrid working? Uh, the third one is really important, future-proofing our technological skills. So how can administrative professionals become technology ambassadors in their companies? And the last one, of course, is about the global skills matrix. How can we take the global skills matrix forward to the future? So it's very future oriented. Wow. Uh, it's incredible. We already participated on, on the other online summits. And yes, we're having a delegation. Definitely, definitely. It's, it's so valuable, so important. And uh, everything that we are uh, having uh, we have a group that it translated to Portuguese, and we're going to be sharing everything around the community here in Brazil. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So we're looking uh, at the last summit that we did online, uh, also again because of COVID, uh, we had um, 68 delegates from 23 countries. And together they represented the voices of over 200,000 administrative wow. professionals around the world. So we have a huge audience. So it's uh, yes. all those voices are being brought to the table, which is really, really exciting. 
No, totally, totally. And if you could share also, uh, we have many new people here, especially from the new generations, universities that are online here. Uh, could you share a little bit more about the Global Skills Matrix? Yes, I'm very happy to do that, of course. Uh, very close to my heart. This is the most important piece of work that's been produced by the, by the uh, Alliance coming out of the summit. And we started work on it in 2015. So it's taken a long time to get uh, launched, but we finally launched it uh, in September 2021. So it's been almost a year since the launch. Um, basically, it's a five level framework. So it shows that no matter what country you're in, it makes it possible for you to identify levels of work for a given role and career progression opportunities to realize the potential that you give to organization. Now, the research that we did for, this, for the skills matrix comes from the survey that we did of over 3000 administrative professionals. And the first thing we discovered from the survey results is that there are over 160 different job titles for what we do, 160. So it's no wonder that the role is misunderstood if we can't agree on a common name for ourselves, and we never will, let's be honest. So we decided to do, there was no way that we could give a, a certain title to a level because it means something different in each country. So what could be simpler? We have levels one to five. So whatever country you're in, when you say, hey, I'm a level three assistant, everybody knows what you're talking about. So those survey results, which were quite shocking, were 60% um, of administrative professionals felt that there was little or no opportunity for career progression in their organizations, 60%. 58% felt underutilized and probably underappreciated. I mean, that's over half of administrative professional worldwide at all levels, that's staggering. And what really stood out and is really, really painful is that 73% felt that their organizations didn't understand the role or the impact of using them properly. Now, can you imagine if all the accountants in the world stood up and said, we don't feel that our companies are using us properly? It would be people would be <laughs> would be hitting the, the, the table with their chins. Uh, that, that's just ridiculous, they would say. So, but for our profession, it, that is the truth. So we collected all the data from all of these uh, 3000 uh, survey respondents and we, there were thousands of skills. People, we were asking them, what are your skills? What are your tasks? So the, the statistics were thousands of skills, thousands of tasks that we had to distill down to a manageable form that everybody could understand. So that's why we just kept it as simple as possible. We have a dedicated website for the global skills matrix. So this is um, globalskillsmatrix.com where you can find the full report that we produced and an executive summary that you can take with you to your to your uh, executives, because we know they don't like to, to, to look through pages and pages of information. There are lots of, lots of tools for you to use that will help you to communicate with your own organization about the matrix. And um, we've got some graphics for you to use on social media so that you can talk about the, the skills matrix, uh, because this is what we want. We need you to spread the word for us. And um, there's a, there are letters from um, two very, very uh, respected people in our, in our uh, business. One is to HR, so explaining in the language of HR what it's all about. The other one is to, re to recruiters, which again speaks their language and explains to why the Global Skills Matrix is so uh, life-changing for our profession. And we ha also have translations, which, uh, which we've done, been uh, done for us, Dutch, German, French, the Italian one is, is, uh, is nearly done. And uh, of course, Portuguese from, uh, that, that uh, Pepita is taking care of for us. So the matrix 
is all about excellence. <clears throat> so whatever level you're in, you should strive to be excellent, to be the best you can be, to deliver what it is that you're measured against, what are your goals and your KPIs. That's why having an accurate job description is so important and that the job description is written by the people who are actually doing the work. Lucy and I, Lucy Brazier, which as some of you may know, have done over 40 webinars about the Global Skills Matrix in 16 different countries to introduce it to as many organizations as we can. And there have so far been over 4,000 downloads of the documents from our website, which is phenomenal. So when we talk about the skills matrix, we, we ask, what's your job description look like? And I'm really, really surprised at the number of people who say, I don't have one. It's the same as it was 10 years ago when I joined the company or oh, HR, write it for me. I don't know what's in there because that's the basis of uh, the global skills matrix. If people don't know what you're doing, how do you know what you're accountable for? How does your executive know what you're accountable for? And how are you measured if there's nothing there to measure you against? So um, it's, uh, it's been a very hard road to get the skills matrix produced, but it's there now, it's out there. Download it, read the documentation, uh, as I say, Lucy and I do these webinars, so that's a 45 minute talk about the Global Skills Matrix. We're very happy to do that free of charge to any organization who would like to have it. Um, and we've just been talking about it for so long, and we hope that you'll be able to, that you'll come on board with us and you'll help us spread the word. So not just use it for yourself, but get it um, integrated into your company. So this is why we need you to help us to talk to your executives and HR, and schools and universities to get it on their curriculum and trainers, because if the trainers can see this is a level three, they can target their training courses so that when they sell their training course, they can sell it to a level three assistant or someone who's aiming to be a level three assistant. So it's it's you, you don't waste time looking for training courses for things that you already know. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, and, and I would say those are still a few things uh, of many, 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 many uh, ways to utilize that uh, to yourself, your own development as a roadmap for your evolution and on the interface also with your executive in HR. Uh, we are uh, having the translation uh, not only of the Global Skills Matrix, but the other documents also. And after FISEC on October, uh, we're gathering a summit to discuss that deeply, to really make a match on Brazil with C-level executive assistants of more than 50 of the most top uh companies based here in brazil but multinationals internationals nationals so it's going to be very 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 important after that we're going to be spreading everything already in portuguese and even uh, having the talks about it also in portuguese so that's going to facilitate for us to give all the support now to brazil of this I would say as seeing a, a disruptive and so necessary uh, global skills matrix that we needed as a globe. Absolutely. And it's this is something that's never been done before, Pepita, you know, any kind of change in an organization always comes from the top, right? It always comes from above. This is coming from the grassroots, from the people who are doing the work, the people who know what it is to 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 deal with all of these issues every day. And they are the ones that understand the work. You, the assistants, understand what this role is all about. So we're looking for something. This has all come from, from input from you all. And we're delivering this tool, which we give freely to the world. And uh, we're saying, go out there, talk about it, use it, implement it, convince people. We need, we need everybody to be talking about this, this amazing tool. Yes, definitely, definitely. 
Helen, I'm so happy to have this online stage always for you, for the World Administrators Alliance. We will be with a delegation in uh, your summit, the World Alliance Summit. And I want to ask you to send your last message for executive assistants, secretaries, students, professors of Brazil and the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, of course, hello again to everyone out there in this amazing profession. Congratulations on showing up today. You've taken a conscious choice to develop yourself, to continue learning, to strive for excellence. So well done for doing that, for being here today. The role is evolving all the time and we need to keep up with all of those changes. And you have such an important role. Assistants are like the thermometers of an organization. You know what's going on. You can feel if something is not working right, if communication is going well or not, if processes are getting stuck. And many of us have been working virtually. So it's you need to work harder to pick up on those vibes nowadays. So skills like empathy, cultural awareness, communication, influence and networking are so important. If you look at the this global skills matrix and you compare it to the World Economic Forum report on the future of jobs in 2020, you'll see the same things, problem solving, self-management, critical thinking, and very important, the use of technology. Our latest summit survey showed that technology was the number one training that assistants are demanding. So you need to be constantly increasing your technical skills. Software just is developing so fast, you need to keep up. You need to determine what, what apps are there, can help you to take your routine tasks and do them better and train your executives because they don't have time to take courses, do they? And become a subject matter expert for your team or your department so that you can help and support others. Assistants are the most versatile, creative, curious and hard-working discipline in the business world. So we need to show to our companies that we add real value to their bottom line. The World Administrators Alliance is running a campaign at the moment. We have a hashtag, the career behind the job, to create uh, or to increase awareness of our role as a profession. So there's another hashtag, my career of choice. So be proud of what you do talk about it. We're far too modest about what we do, far too comfortable staying in the background. How often do you get a compliment and say, oh, I'm just doing my job or it's all part of my day's work. Never apologize for being excellent. Accept those compliments that you receive. Be proud of your achievements. Know your worth. And if it means that you're the only one who says it to you, to you every day, then say it. Yes, I'm good. I'm so proud of the progress that the profession has made in the past 30 years from those days of the stereotype secretary when I started to becoming the business partners that we've come today. Let's be proud of this amazing profession, but most of all, be proud of ourselves. Bravo, bravo. Wow. I'm so happy to have you on this stage to connect you with all this generations from students to C-level executive assistants for everybody watching uh, this this words inspirational words and totally true connection with the greatness of this beautiful significant strategic important profession Helen thank you so much to being with us here we're totally connected, very, very happy and honored to be with you and our console also of C-level executive assistants here connected on the World Administrators Alliance. We totally are connected with you. Thank you so much for your time and for your words, Helen. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was wonderful to be here. Thank you. Secretárias e secretários do Brasil e do mundo, essa é a Helen Monument no palco do FISEC e muito feliz de trazer tudo isso para vocês e fiquem atentos porque estamos em processo de transferência dessa tecnologia, desses conhecimentos para português 
e depois no nosso Summit que teremos com C-Level Executive Assistance em outubro, nós vamos estar disseminando isso em todas as universidades, empresas, grupos, comunidade incrível que nós temos. Muito obrigada. Thank you, Helen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.